Daly. Oh, he's, he's made a long one this season. He's made one of 54. Daly's boot. but we spoiled them a bit, and I like the fact that they may not be all that happy. This is a short kick that's returned by T.J. Lee. A penalty marker comes down as Lee is still fighting for yardage. And now bus free, T.J. Lee. There he goes. Couple men to beat, cuts back to the inside, and is down inside the 10-yarder. But once again, a flag all the way back at the 20. Was it? Were you more impressed with last night's victory by Texas Tech or Penn State's victory at Ohio State? Oh, watch out. Newsom. Touchdown. Jamar Newsom. Quarterback that had that great opening month for East Carolina. Whitley. Straight ahead, as you said, doesn't waste any time. And a Sig Hartman missed from 48, 46, and now here from 27. And this time it's pure. Three they trail UCF. Matt Dodge to kick. Joe Burnett, one of the best return men in all of college football. Unsighted. They pulled it off. Wow. Alex Thompson. Wow. Now, how about Skip Holtz pulling one out like that? And this is a head coach's call. No one makes this decision but the head coach. The onside kick executed perfectly, drills a Central Florida player that looked like it was, was Alex Thompson. First time in the third quarter. Third and two. Simmons fumbles the ball. Ball is loose on the ground. UCF comes up with it. Free safety. He never had the ball. He saw that on the replay. Simmons lost it in the handoff and East Carol Norman Whitley who's been their most prolific runner tonight but was not in on that third down is 225 and he didn't handle that handoff at all new quarterback new running back and they were five wide before and now Whitley the featured back he gets the call right up the middle touchdown Pirates well we talked about it He's not a big guy, but he's got a lot of strength and determination. That was just a lead play. He got right in there and fought his way into the end zone. And Skip Holtz never hesitated to tie the game. And he does. The pass complete to his running back, Harvey. Trying to fumble the ball. Fighting for extra yardage. Fumble the ball. And there's a scrum and a pileup. And you know that the boys in white and purple are fighting hard for it down there. East Carolina football. Wow. Purchase from the pile. Well, Bryn Harvey, the freshman, just runs a nice little turn with curl rod here. And Cliff Perryman, number 40, comes in with a big hit. As Harvey was fighting for extra yardage, he gets just hammered by Cliff Perriman, and the ball popped out. And what a critical turnover at this juncture and at that place on the field. Be concerned about a turnover here. I take my chances in overtime if I'm Central Florida. Greco is going to run it. East Carolina has it! What a wacky final couple minutes here! Well, this offense hasn't been fluid all night. 
And, and to think that in 43 seconds that they would all of a sudden get it together, I just didn't see that coming. I was more concerned about something like this, a turnover, that would happen. And sure enough, here it is. And East Carolina now really set up. Short field, they have a chance to line up for a field goal shortly and win the game. And rock for the Pirates. Stronger arm. a tough spot to put a young quarterback in. He has a stronger arm, but he's been sitting for the better part of an hour, and John L. Neal stepped up and made a big pick. He made that change. And all of a sudden, now a little Boston. <laughs> Back-to-back turnovers, and George O'Leary, the veteran coach, says, you know what, guys? Enough. I've seen enough <laughs> conference win. Greco to the air, intercepted. East Carolina's Emmanuel Davis on the very first offensive play for Central Florida. A 39-yarder for the win. Straight on. in but it was straightened right down the middle. Flag on the way. To the kicker, defense number 31. That penalty is declined. The field goal is good. The game is over. Ben Hartman wins it for East Carolina. In a wild and wacky one. Back and forth turnovers, tied up in regulation, an interception in overtime, and then this. How about Emmanuel Davis, though, getting the pick in overtime, forcing a fumble, a fumble recovery, six tackles. He was the guy who got it done defensively for East Carolina, and Norman Whitley was outstanding offensively. Carolina wins it in overtime, 13-10. to 10.